hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a bit of a different video i'm doing a voiceover so i hope the audio is not too too fuzzy today i wanted to compare the different shops that you can buy k-pop albums from i know a lot of people have done this for the united states but i've not seen any canadians do it and honestly like shipping albums to canada is so so incredibly expensive and so i wanted to compare the prices of a lot of places and see if we could figure out which is the cheapest and hopefully save a little bit of money i have an idea of which one i think is going to be the cheapest my bet is k-town for you but i guess we will see together so the way i'm going to do this is i am just going to look through all of these stores i'm going to list the base price the shipping cost and then what I imagine customs would be because as you know if you are Canadian if you get anything by courier there is typically a customs cost. I am going to be using One Us Blood Moon as my example of albums so there's three versions of that so I am going to do it as though you bought one of each version. <laughs> so the stores I'm going through do reflect the fact that it is a One Us album so there's no weavers though i do find weavers skews quite expensive so yes and that is also why there's bizent which is rbw's in-house album supplier i guess you could say there may be other shops that exist but these are the ones that Wanus is doing pre-order benefits from and i felt like it encompassed most shops i am also including coco dive and kpop market 01 as i think that those two are usually pretty cheap and maybe do provide an alternative perhaps i guess we'll find out together so <laughs> with that i am going to start with bizent okay so i'm on the bizent website the albums are 15 dollars 78 usd each so i am going to add all of these to my cart honest to somebody who uses bizent a lot i do find that it is not the most user friendly it's a little bit of an awkward website i mean it's rbw's <laughs> creation um it's not the most forward <laughs> of places there's probably an easier way to have done this but i don't know it so i've added all of them to my cart so here's all of them the total is 47 dollars 34 usd so with shipping, it is $41.67 USD and altogether $89.01. Okay, so I have put all the numbers into my spreadsheet. So the base price after conversion into Canadian dollars is $58.63. The shipping would be $51.61. There wouldn't be any customs because Byzant uses EMS, which ships via Canada Post. And so in my personal experience, that means that there is no customs. Of course, they could still charge you customs, I'm pretty sure, but I have literally never seen EMS charge customs for a total of $110.24. Okay, so next we have Music Korea, which in my experience is quite expensive. So I'm going to say already, I probably would not order from here. I also don't know if they have photo cards now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if there's pre-order cards because it says no gift for events so maybe I just imagine that they have pre-order cards but they do typically do pre-order cards especially for RBW groups they do one week pre-order cards almost every comeback so um yeah I'm not 100% sure whether or not they have a pre-order card but um, as you can see, I have added all of the albums into my cart. Yes, so there's all the albums. So the total is $57.15. So um, that is USD. I'm going to put in my information. And as you can see, they don't let you choose between EMS and DHL. So they just pick one. I've only ever had them shipped by DHL. But you can see the shipping total is $42.04 for a total of $99.19. Okay, so I've added all the figures in now. So after conversion, the base price of three albums on Music Korea is $70.78. The shipping is $52.07. 
This, I don't know if it would be EMS or DHL. Every time I've ordered from them, it's DHL, but they do not let you choose. They just pick one. So now that EMS is a thing again more, um, they might ship by EMS, but I'm going to say they would ship by DHL. So with that, I have added that $20 customs fee in because that's about how much I would expect you get charged customs for for these albums just because the life is or the theater version one is pretty big um which means the box is going to be big and heavy so i'm going to say it's 20 dollars. it's usually 15 to 20 and the total for music korea is 142 dollars and 85 cents so a lot more expensive than Byzant. i 100 saw that one coming so yes, let us move on now to my music taste. Okay, so next we have my music taste, which I think is a very popular place to pre-order albums from. I always pre-order from my music taste, but lately it feels like they're committing like highway robbery with their prices. I don't know. After like August or so, I feel like their shipping cost has gotten like really, really expensive compared to other places. So I haven't ordered from them in a while. I did not order from them this time. So as you can see, I'm putting in three versions here. With DHL, it is $48 for the items, $47.16 for the shipping, and that makes up for a total of $95.16 from my music taste. So the base price of the albums is $59.45 with a shipping total of $58.41. So like I said, the most expensive shipping of the bunch yet. The customs, I again am going to say is around $20 for a total of $137.86, so not the most expensive out of the bunch, but second, and definitely the most expensive shipping, so that to me is annoying. I hate spending money on shipping already, so I want to go somewhere with not super expensive shipping, so like I said, I did not personally order from MMT, but there is the MMT option for you. Okay, so next we have Makestar, which is one of my favorite places to order albums. It's not for everybody. They're a little slow with shipping sometimes, which is annoying, but they do let you choose a set, so you don't have to worry about getting duplicate albums, which I do really like. If you're ordering two sets, I wouldn't do it that way because they might send you duplicate pre-order benefits. But you can see the cost is $45.41. And then after I have put in my information, the delivery fee is $29.74 with DHL. They also have EMS, which is $42.94. So... Okay, so Makestar has been inputted. As you can see, I did split it up into two sections. So if you did DHL versus if you did EMS. So of course, the base price would just be the same. The shipping for DHL is $36.83, whereas the shipping with EMS is $53.18. Obviously, if you do it by DHL, you're going to have to pay customs fees. So I did put the $20 in. EMS, I did not put anything in because you wouldn't pay customs with, D with EMS. Sorry. Uh, so the total for DHL is 113.07 versus EMS is 109.24. I should also mention you can self-clear with DHL um, and any courier system, but I don't know how to do that because I don't live close enough to an airport to do it. So you can look into that if that's something you're interested in, and then you can totally wipe that customs fee to zero for any of these. I just thought I would mention that. So yes, that is Makestar. Okay, so next up is K-Town for you, which is actually where I pre-ordered from. So I just clicked on fan club at the top, and then I just find whatever random one us one. This is going to give you 40% off. So Yes, you can see there was the 40% off link there. So that's going to make the base price of your albums way, way, way cheaper. The thing with K-Town for you is I find that their shipping is a bit expensive. They also have a million pop-ups on their website, which makes me not even want to order from them. Um, so yes, after I have put in, so you can see there, there's the $23 of discount. After I have put in my address and everything. So yes, the total price is after, oh my god, the website is awful when you have it on like landscape mode. Uh, $49.06 for a total of $85.12. So that is 
what it is going to cost you from K-Town for You. So I will put that into my spreadsheet now. Okay, so for K-Town for You, the base price of the albums was $44.46. So that is the cheapest out of any of them so far. However, the shipping is the most expensive at $60.76. It is a little offset because usually with UPS, the custom charges are a little bit lower than DHL. So I would say the customs would probably be more like $10.00 from UPS, whereas it's 20 from DHL. So that brings the total to $115.22. Like I said, K-Town For You is where I pre-ordered my albums from, but uh, as you can see, they are technically not the least expensive, but they did have two sets of pre-order cards, so I ordered 12 albums. That's why I ordered from K-Town For You, otherwise I probably would have done MMT or Mixstar, but Yes, there is K-Town for you. Okay, so we are now getting into places that I've never ordered from. This is Dear My Muse, which I have heard of, and I do actually own some pre-order cards from Dear My Muse. So they fortunately also have a set that you could pick. Um, sorry for taking so long deciding about posters, but they were really expensive, so I was like, no, I wouldn't get the posters. But you can tack on a thousand won for each poster if you'd like i put in my details so you can see the albums were 45 dollars 66 with a shipping total of 34 dollars 17 the only thing i don't know and i really couldn't figure it out is how they ship um i would assume with dhl okay so for dear my muse the base price of the albums was 56 dollars 55 cents the shipping cost was the cheapest out of any of them at 42 dollars 32 cents I have no idea how they ship. It said parcel service, so I don't know if that means they just put it in a like bag and send it to you. I have no idea. Um, but I'm going to say it's maybe DHL. So I put that there was customs fees. You can subtract $20 if you'd like. That would make it the cheapest if it is not DHL. It would make it the cheapest by a lot. Do let me know down below if you've ever ordered from Dear My Muse how they ship because I have never ordered from them so I cannot tell you. The nice thing about Dear My Muse, I should say while I'm here, is they also have unit cards which I think is really cool. So there's member cards and then um, three unit cards. So I probably will get those at some point but not from Dear My Muse, from Neokyo. Okay, so next is With Drama. I've never ordered from With Drama. I really don't like their Lucky Draw cards because they're like acrylic plasticky kind of material. One Us is doing two sets with them. Probably won't get either of them. We'll see. I am a capitalist, you know what? So probably I will. But I can't figure out how to add more than one version of the album. So you can see that pop-up comes up. Um... I tried again, same pop-up, of course. So I added just three copies of the gray one since obviously the price will be the same. But if anybody knows how you add more than one version, do let me know because my little brain couldn't figure it out. So after I have put in my information, the price is $52.35. This is USD, by the way. The shipping cost was $72.35. <laughs> Like what? So the total was $124.70 from With Drama. Okay, With Drama. So the base price is now the second highest at $64.84. The shipping is $89.61. In my opinion, that has to be EMS because EMS is more expensive. Also, it said that the shipping would take like approximately 15 business days which again to me that says EMS so I have put customs at zero dollars but I don't know how they ship and honestly I couldn't figure it out on their website so if anybody knows again let me know but I'm thinking it's EMS so that's what we're going with so I put zero dollars could be more who knows but we now have a new winner for the most expensive place, which is $154.45. Yeah, their website is real cute, though I really like the colors, so they do have that going for them. But with that, we are moving on to Everline, which I had never heard of before last week. So let's move on. Okay, next is Everline. I have nothing to say about Everline because I had never heard of it before this, so 
I have no idea. Is it a good company? Is it a bad company? Do they ship quickly? Do they package well? Couldn't tell you. I don't know a single person who's ever ordered from them. So yeah, that's Everline. So uh, it does come in a set, which is nice because that's what I was looking for. So there's a little photo card preview. Definitely will be getting those because they look super cute. So you can see it's $44.40. So after my information is in, it is actually, uh, oh, whoa, what am I doing here? $44.40 for the product and $37 for the shipping for a total final payment of $81.40. Again, is it DHL? I have no idea. Okay, so we have Everline here. The price of the albums is $54.99, so pretty standard. The shipping, however, is very cheap at $45.83. No idea how they ship. I honestly couldn't find it. I feel like it's probably DHL and you're probably gonna have to pay customs. Given also their time frame of like shipping time, it seems like they use a courier service. If it's not DHL, it's UPS or FedEx, I would assume. UPS is usually about $10 in customs. FedEx I find to be quite cheap for customs. So if it's FedEx, you can put like five to 10 bucks. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna put 20 because most places ship by DHL. So if you know otherwise, do let me know. But Everline comes in at a reasonable $120.82. Okay, so next up is Apple Music. I have to say I have tried to order from Apple Music before, but it was a very long time ago and they did not have an English portion of their website. Like nothing was in English, no way to make it in English. And I'm pretty sure you could only order with a Korean address, but it appears as though that has changed. So that's really nice. Um, so they also have a set thing, like the Everline, was it Everline who had a set? So I just selected that one. These are also lucky draws, if I remember correctly, but as far as I know, Apple Music doesn't do those acrylic-y cards. Um, why I am scrolling so slowly when I know Canada starts with a C here, uh, who knows? But yes, so I put in Canada... We will see what's the price going to be. Oh, wait, they do do DHL. So this one we know it's DHL. The total is $49.44 USD. The shipping is an additional $40.74 for a total of $90.18 from Apple Music. Okay, Apple Music. So the price of the albums is $61.23, a little on the pricey side. Um, yep, the shipping is $50.46. This one did say that it ships by DHL, so I actually know for a fact which one it is. So again, I'm adding $20 with customs because, you know, DHL does us dirty every single time for a total of $131.69. Nobody can beat with drama, mm, but this one tried to come close, so... Apple Music, would I recommend? No, their website confuses me. It looks as though it's not been updated since the 90s, so would I recommend to order from them when there are so many other options? I probably wouldn't. That being said, the pre-order benefits are probably gonna be real expensive to order after the fact, so maybe you do wanna order from there. I don't know your life, but I certainly am not ordering from Apple Music. There's the price for Apple Music. Okay, next up should have been DMC Music, but I searched one as couldn't find anything. So perhaps I imagined that they had a pre-order benefit through DMC. I truly can't find it. And honestly, their website stresses me out. So I'm just going to leave this one. Don't order from them, I guess, is what I'm saying. Because I don't know if you can. <laughs> okay, next up is Coco Dive. Um, I'm going to tell you right now. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Uh, there's so many other places you could order from. They don't even have pre-order cards here. And why is the website the way that it is? I, a lot of questions I have for Coco Dive. Um, you can see one album, $51. Actually, that's Canadian. So maybe that's not that bad, but once I put in all my information, you can see the shipping is only $12, so 
quite reasonable. Uh, but $151, this is already in Canadian. Um, you're going to see when I go back to my little spritchy that that's not going to hold up. So no to Cocoa Dive already. Okay, so next up is Cocoa Dive. Uh, the fact that there's no zeros behind that 139 is triggering my fight or flight response, but too late to change it now. $139 is the base price. That's more than you're going to pay at other places for the entire thing. But the shipping's only $12. What a steal. $151. Still doesn't beat with drama, though. Um, nobody's going to beat them, I don't think. So with drama, hats off to you. Coco Dive, don't do it. I already said that. I don't like Coco Dive. It gives me sketch vibes. Okay, next, K-Pop Market 01. So next is K-Pop Market 01. If you've never heard of them, they are an eBay store. They are super reputable. A lot of people buy from them, myself included. I have bought from them many times. So you can see here they have the set and it does say express shipping, which means they ship by FedEx. So it does say $101.24. Um, I put in folded posters just cause you know, that changed it to $103. When I went to put in, it was 83 US, but we already know, 103. Okay, but market 01, $103, give or take, for your albums. That obviously includes the shipping price, so they say free shipping, but obviously the shipping is included. FedEx um, sometimes charges customs fees, but from K-pop market 01, never once have I got customs, so I'm putting zero. Is that maybe too forward? Perhaps, but I'm just gonna say zero, which brings our total to $103, even from K-pop market 01. That is everything. Let me put some fun little colors so we can discuss the prices, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts um, that nobody really asked for, but I'm gonna give them anyways, so let's do that. Okay, so this is the final wrap up. So I put the most expensive and the least expensive and then the two closest to those. So for least expensive, the least expensive is K-pop Market 01. They are super cheap, they ship real fast, the only thing is you will not get a pre-order benefit. So if that's something that's important to you, then perhaps don't order from them. If it's not important for you, then go for it. They are by far the cheapest. Uh, for me, that's important. So I would not order from them. But another option that does have pre-order benefits is Byzant. So that is only $110.24. So that's honestly really good. The only thing that I will note is it is shipping by EMS. So that's probably going to take weeks, like a couple weeks to get to you at least. So then you again are going to need to decide if that's like something that you're willing to compromise speed for a little bit cheaper. For me, that's annoying because I film videos. So um, that is why I did not order from Byzant. I will probably just get the Byzant cards afterwards. And then also Makestar, if you do EMS, that is also really expensive. Sorry, that's also more or less expensive than Byzant and I did Byzant first. But again, same thing. You are going to get the pre-order cards, but it is going to take you a long time to get your albums. So again, something to consider if that's going to annoy you or not it would annoy me so i wouldn't do that but at only like a few dollars more you can do make star dhl which is gonna get to you super fast so it's really up to you also you could self clear make star dhl and then that's gonna be under 100 bucks which is the only one on this list that can say that and then for our most expensive ones these are the ones that i wouldn't recommend you order from we have with drama in first place what are they doing? What are they doing it with drama? I don't know. I $154 for three albums. No, I don't think so with drama. Not going to order from them. Um, Music Korea also terribly expensive. I knew that going in because I've ordered from them before and cried about <laughs> the price before, but um, yeah, I don't know. Their pre-order benefits go for super expensive after the fact so is it worth it maybe to buy them up front that's for you to decide i cannot tell you what to do so music korea is an option coco dive i would say it's not even an option realistically why i people tell me all the time coco dive you should use coco dive it's pretty cheap 
um, hello? No, it's not. I, who told me that? Why would you lie to me? That's really hurtful. I don't like that. I'm never visiting that website again. My picks. What would I do if I were you? Well, I ordered from K-Town for you, so that's what I would do. I find the safest options are K-Town for you, MMT, MakeStar, because those are the ones that I am the most comfortable with. But it does also seem like Dear My Muse is like kind of like an up-and-comer, um, and I would consider trying to order from them. I think it could be fine. I don't know anything really about their customer service or anything like that. Not that MMT and Megstar and K-Town for You have good customer service. That's not what I'm saying because they don't. But I, I don't know about Dear My Muse, so you're taking a risk because I can't tell you either way if it's good or not. Everline, again, no idea. I have no idea. So, uh, and same with Apple Music. Apple Music is real expensive. I wouldn't order from them. But Everline is like in line with the other ones. So, maybe i'd have no idea you could try also let's talk about weavers really fast because i know a lot of people order off of weavers their prices i would say are comparable to probably everline apple music range if i had to take a guess i get hit when i order from weavers with the most insane dhl fees i don't know what they do do they put bricks in the boxes to make it more heavy? Do the people at DHL just know the boxes because they're blue and they just get annoyed and they just charge me more? I don't know what happens every time, literally every time. So, and I know a lot of people complain about DHL fees when it comes to Weavers. So obviously you can't order your one us albums from Weavers, but if you were thinking of ordering albums through Weavers, something to consider. Anyways, that's really all I have to say. That's my insights. My top picks would be Make Star, K Town for You, MMT, and then if you are fine waiting, Byzant would be the way to go, in my opinion. But I would love to know where you guys are ordering your albums from. Let me know because I'm really curious to see where everyone's ordering from. I do kind of wish that I could order from all of these places just to test them out. And obviously to have the pre-order benefits, but um, no, can't do that because I'm, I'm poor. So uh, just one for me, just from K-Town for you. So I'm hoping that a lot of people that I like follow on Twitter and Instagram order from different places than me so that I can see the cards because I'm really excited about that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I know it was something a little different, but I hope that it ended up being helpful maybe to just one person that's enough so uh thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye